just grab these and damn what's going on guys welcome back to another great day well today we're going to be reviewing hook roads uh, fender delete kit for the brand new Ford bronco as you can tell i already have them on the passenger side and i've only installed one side yes i still have the driver side reason is because i will show you guys here in a little bit there's some good and there's some bad about this kit and i'm going to show you guys here in a little bit what they uh bad and good is about these kits so yeah let's go ahead and take this one off um supposedly all you gotta do is look in here look for these little tabs and you basically just rotate these two three all right, so there's five on the front and just grab these and damn that was it that was simple that was really easy actually wow so these are the little tabs we're rotating here so that's locked and that is open so the kit itself it comes in a nice black textured look uh, didn't have an issue at all with the packaging it came in nice and nice and wrapped uh, no issues, no nicks, no nothing like that. Came with all the hardware, but was missing the little Allen key for the uh, bolts here because it uses a five millimeter Allen. I didn't, it wasn't a big deal for me because I have my own tools, but if you don't have it, you would have been uh, out of luck with that. But well, uh, one thing that was bad about it, but uh, the install is simple. Uh, I don't know if you guys are going for this look. If you're going for this look, uh, this review is for you guys. Uh, they do make, four wheel drive parts does make a kit like this similar uh, fender delete as well. But I'm gonna show you guys the fit and finish on it here on the passenger front. It actually follows the body line pretty well. I had no issues at all with this. Uh, only issue on the front one that I had here was here in the corner on the front. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it doesn't lay flat against the panel. And then from the front, oh, let me see if I can get a good point there. Oh, yes, it's not flush at all. You can see, uh, still has quite a bit left to go. Um, I could tighten it more, but I will be scratching the panel um, here because it's already touching the fender. So I'm not gonna do that. It's not a big deal breaker. Uh, like I said, it's not that noticeable, but I am pretty picky. If I'm gonna install anything on the Bronco, I want it to at least fit and finish really, really well. Uh, but yeah, that was the only issue on the front one. Now on the back. Also, I didn't have any issues as far as the finish on it. And it sits nice. There's just two things that bother me in the back. And that is the factory fender liner here. It's really floppy and the clips are all still there, okay? So I didn't remove the clips, they're all still there. It's just the way it sits. Now it sticks out past the delete kit here. Um, there's actually no way to really secure this flush to keep it inside. Uh, you don't notice it with those on because it actually covers this up. Um, but yeah, that kind of bothered me as well and on the back I could not attach this bolt on the back reason was because the nut that goes in the back um, It just doesn't line up with the hole There is a bracket back there a plastic bracket and it keeps the nut from actually lining up with the hole Where you need to add the bolt head and actually the nut is still back there I'll show you guys once I remove this. Um, I'm gonna leave these on these are kind of just a review for hook road I'm a little disclaimer here I did not pay for these they actually sent these out to me so I'm gonna review these for you guys and like I said I'm not gonna leave them on because this is not really the look that I like not the look that I've always liked I did see one of these the other day going down the road and it looked odd to me and I was trying to put pinpoint what that was that looked so weird on the Bronco and it was missing those it had defending deletes on there and I was like wow it doesn't look good I just don't like the way the bumper looked see how the bumper like is sticking past the body that looked weird to me especially from the back um i could see the bumper and it was just really weird the way it sits i didn't like it maybe if you had like an aftermarket bumper maybe it would look good but i just don't like the way that looks it has a, the body and then has a bumper and then it, it just doesn't look good and the wheels stick out way too far um yeah didn't like the way that looks anyways this is my honest review okay so like i said at the beginning I did not purchase these from Hook Road. They actually sent these out to me to review and install for you guys. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion about these, okay? I'm not going to lie and say that these are the best things out there. You should go out and buy them and spend all your money. 
I'm not gonna say that, okay? Uh, these actually didn't cut it for me. They didn't fit the way I wanted them. And the finish, the finish was great on them, but they just didn't fit the way I would want them on my Bronco. If I'm gonna put anything on my Ford Bronco, it's gonna fit and finish really, really nice. And it's gonna stay on there. Depending, no matter who makes the product, I don't care what the name and the brand is. It's, if it's fit and finish is good, it's gonna stay on there. But for me, they just didn't cut it. Uh, but if those little small things didn't bother you guys uh, that I pointed out, then I would say, you know what, go ahead and go out and buy them. I will link them down below if you're interested in them. And you know what, and buy yourself a set. They're actually a good price. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank Hook Road for sending these out for me and maybe, you know, with this review and things that I point out, maybe they'll make their products a little bit better on the next batch or going forward. But yeah, um, like I said, guys, I have more stuff coming on the channel. I have a lot of stuff that I review. People send me stuff all the time. Like I said, I have dash cameras. I have wireless stuff. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to review still that I'm actually behind. But anyways, uh, if you like this content, please subscribe, please like, and we'll see you guys on the next one.